Have you ever wondered why cars are so expensive? It's a question that's likely crossed your mind, especially when you're at the dealership, staring at the price tag of a shiny new vehicle. You might even find yourself asking, is this piece of machinery really worth all those zeros? The truth is, the cost of a car is a complex puzzle, and each piece contributes to the overall price tag you see dangling in the window. It's not just about the physical elements that you can touch and see, the sleek paint job, the plush seats, the gleaming wheels. There's an entire world behind that price tag, a world that's often invisible to the everyday consumer. Imagine a web. At the center you have the car itself, but branching out from that center are countless threads, each representing a different factor that contributes to the cost of the car. Some threads represent tangible aspects like materials and labor. Others represent intangible elements like brand reputation and marketing costs. And then there are those threads that represent external influences like government regulations and economic conditions, and let's not forget about the technology packed into every inch of modern cars. From the sophisticated engines that power them, to the advanced safety systems that protect us, to the state-of-the-art infotainment systems that keep us entertained and connected, every bit of tech adds to the price, but it doesn't stop there. The price tag you see at the dealership is just the beginning. Once you drive that car off the lot, you're stepping into a world of ongoing costs. Fuel, maintenance, insurance, depreciation, these are all part of the true cost of owning a car. So the next time you find yourself staring at a car price tag and wondering why it's so high, remember that what you're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole world of costs beneath the surface contributing to that hefty sum. In the next few minutes, we'll delve into the reasons behind these hefty price tags. The journey from an idea to a car sitting in a showroom involves an intricate process. It's a process filled with innovation, creativity, and yes, significant costs. Let's delve into the cost of designing and developing a car, which includes research and development, testing, raw materials, labor, and manufacturing overheads. First up is research and development. This is where a car's journey begins. Automakers invest heavily in this stage, creating prototypes, exploring new technologies, and ensuring the design is both functional and aesthetically pleasing. It's a costly endeavor, but it's vital to ensure the car is both safe and efficient. Next up is testing. Each new model undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it meets safety standards and performs as expected. This includes crash tests, performance evaluations, and environmental assessments. These tests are crucial for ensuring the car is ready for the road, but they also add to the overall cost of production. Now, let's talk about raw materials. Steel, aluminum, rubber, glass, plastics, the list goes on. Each material has its own price tag and the cost of these materials is directly linked to market prices. If the price of steel goes up, so does the cost of producing a car. Labor is another significant factor. Skilled workers are needed at every step of the production process from design to assembly. The cost of labor varies around the world, but it's a necessary expense that contributes to the final price of the car. Finally, we come to manufacturing overheads. These include the cost of operating factories, machinery maintenance, quality control, and logistics. It's a broad category that encompasses everything it takes to turn raw materials into a finished product. These elements combined make up the cost of producing a car. It's a complex process filled with countless steps and significant expenses, but each step, each investment is crucial to creating a vehicle that's safe, efficient, and enjoyable to drive. The cost of production alone justifies a significant portion of the price tag. And as we move forward, we'll see how other factors also play a role in determining the final cost of a car. Ever marvel at the tech wizardry in modern cars? The dazzling displays, the near-magical safety features, the sleek infotainment systems, all these are fantastic, but they come at a cost. And not just any cost, we are talking a significant chunk of your car's price tag. Let's start with safety systems. Gone are the days when safety in a car meant having a seat belt and an airbag. Today we have lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, and more. These systems are designed to protect us, to make driving safer and easier. But developing these technologies requires a lot of research, precision, and testing. And all this research and development doesn't come cheap. Then there's the infotainment system, the heart of your car's interior, the hub of your in-car entertainment. It's not just a radio anymore. Now it's a navigation system, a hands-free telephone, a music player, and sometimes even a Wi-Fi hotspot. 
All these features require sophisticated software, high quality screens and plenty of processing power. Again, all these add to the cost. And let's not forget about fuel efficiency technology. With the world becoming increasingly conscious about the environment, car manufacturers are under pressure to develop vehicles that consume less fuel and produce fewer emissions. Hybrid systems, electric engines, and other fuel-saving technologies don't come easy. They require innovative engineering, rare materials, and again, a lot of research and development. So next time you marvel at the backup camera, the voice-controlled navigation, or the smooth ride of a hybrid engine, remember that these features are not just convenient and cool. They are also one of the reasons why modern cars are as expensive as they are. The more tech-savvy a car, the steeper its price. Government regulations and standards play their part in shaping car prices, too. Let's delve into this a little deeper. Cars, as we know, are not just about horsepower and sleek designs, they are also about safety. Government authorities worldwide set stringent safety standards that automakers must meet. These standards cover everything from crash testing to the strength of seat belts. Implementing these safety features often requires additional materials, technology, and design modifications, which can add to the overall cost of production. But safety isn't the only factor. Emission standards also play a significant role. Governments across the globe are tightening emissions regulations to combat climate change and improve air quality. These standards require automakers to invest heavily in research, development, and manufacturing processes to reduce their vehicle's emissions. This is a tremendous task, considering the technical complexities involved in creating more eco-friendly engines without compromising performance. Then we have fuel economy standards. With the growing concern over fossil fuel consumption and its environmental impact, authorities have established fuel efficiency standards. Manufacturers are pushed to design cars that consume less fuel per mile, necessitating further investment in research and development. These safety emissions and fuel economy standards are not just guidelines, they are mandatory requirements. If a car doesn't meet these standards, it's not going on sale. This means automakers must continually innovate and invest in meeting these standards and those costs add up. However, it's essential to remember that these regulations are in place for a reason. They ensure our cars are safe, they help protect our environment, and they push the industry towards more sustainable practices. So while these regulations may increase the cost of cars, they also contribute to creating vehicles that are safer, cleaner, and more fuel efficient. It's a cost that's incurred not just for the sake of compliance, but also for the sake of progress. Compliance with these regulations is mandatory and the cost is inevitably passed on to consumers. But remember, when you buy a car, you're not just paying for a vehicle, you're investing in the technology and standards that make it safer and more environmentally friendly. Ever wondered why luxury cars cost a small fortune? You see, when it comes to luxury cars, it's not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about the journey, the experience, and the statement you make along the way. And that's where brand value, exclusivity, and luxury features come into play. Brand value is a significant factor in the cost of luxury cars. Brands like Rolls-Royce, Bentley, and Ferrari have spent decades, even centuries, building their reputation for excellence, performance, and opulence. They are not just selling cars, they are selling a lifestyle, an image, a status symbol. And that kind of prestige doesn't come cheap. Then there's the exclusivity factor. The more exclusive a car, the higher the price. Many luxury cars are produced in limited numbers to maintain their exclusivity. Some models are even made to order, tailored to the specific tastes and preferences of the buyer. This limited production and personalized approach adds to the cost. Remember, scarcity is a luxury in itself. Finally, let's talk about the luxury features. Luxury cars are often equipped with the latest and most advanced features, both in terms of technology and comfort. Think heated and cooled seats, panoramic sunroofs, high-end audio systems, advanced driver assistance systems, and so much more. These features, while making the ride more comfortable and enjoyable, also add to the car's overall cost. So when you're buying a luxury car, you're not just buying an automobile. You're buying the brand's heritage, the exclusivity of ownership, and a host of high-end features designed to make every journey an experience. And of course, you're buying the ability to turn heads wherever you go. But remember, all these factors contribute to the high cost of luxury cars. The allure of luxury comes with a high price tag. The cost of a car doesn't end at its purchase price. 
That's right, folks, the sticker price is just the beginning. When you buy a car, you're signing on the dotted line for a whole host of other expenses that can add up over time. Let's start with insurance. Depending on your age, driving history, and the type of car you drive, this can range from a minor annoyance to a major financial burden. And don't forget, it's not just a one-time fee. This is a recurring cost that you'll be paying for as long as you own the car. Next up, we have maintenance, things like oil changes, brake pads, tires, and the occasional unexpected repair. These are the costs that keep your car running smoothly and safely. And while they can be unpredictable, they're an inevitable part of car ownership. Fuel is another big one. Whether you're driving a gas guzzler or an eco-friendly hybrid, you're going to be spending money to keep that car moving. And with the price of fuel fluctuating, this can be a cost that's hard to budget for. Now let's talk about depreciation. As soon as you drive your new car off the lot, it starts losing value. In fact, most cars lose about 20 to 30% of their value in the first year alone. And while this might not seem like a direct cost, it definitely impacts the overall return on your investment. So you see, the true cost of owning a car is far more than the initial price tag. It's a combination of recurring expenses, unpredictable costs, and the gradual loss of the car's value. And these are all things you need to consider when budgeting for a new vehicle. When you buy a car, you're signing up for a long-term financial commitment. It's not just about the thrill of the open road or the convenience of personal transportation. It's about making a smart, informed decision that takes into account all the costs associated with car ownership. So, why are cars so expensive? The answer isn't as simple as one might think. It's an intricate puzzle made up of several key pieces. First, there's the cost of production. Every car is a marvel of engineering and labor, and the cost of creating these machines is significant. Then, we have the role of technology. As cars become more advanced, the cost of incorporating these cutting-edge features increases. Regulations also play a part. Safety and emission standards require manufacturers to invest in research and development, driving up the price tag. Let's not forget the luxury factor. Brands known for their opulence and prestige often command higher prices simply because of their reputation. Finally, the true cost of ownership goes beyond the initial purchase price, encompassing maintenance, fuel, insurance, and depreciation. Understanding these factors can help you make a more informed decision the next time you're in the market for a car.